Being born without arms, being born different. I faced a lot of bullying. I've been called worm, I've been called nugget. I was completely knocked down. That's probably when my art really took off. Those dark moments, I could work on a painting for hours. It's not every day that you just see somebody pick up a pencil with their feet and draw it. I'm Noah Howard. I'm a 19-year-old student living in New York. I create art with my feet because I was born without arms. There's not really a concrete answer as to why I don't have arms. I also have scoliosis. I've had many back surgeries throughout my entire childhood. And I tell people that I can dress myself. That's pretty much where people are the most shocked. They're like, how do you button? How do you zip? I would say the thing that I enjoy most about college life is being on my own, doing whatever I want. I live with my roommate, Anderson. Hey, bro, can you come help me get my shirt on? You know, I think we're learning from each other every day. He learns what I can do. He knows what I can't do. You want a soda or anything? I can cook if I need to. I know how to make eggs. I can do the dishes. He's just like any other roommate cleans up after himself. Obviously, he has some things that he needs help with. It's just like living with any other guy, um, especially fun because he's my best friend, and not a lot of people get to say that they live with their best friend. Right now, it's been like a whole 24 hours since we've played this. I make my bed, I shower every day. School wasn't a happy place for me. Very, very bad place, actually. Being born without arms, being born different in any way, I think is a really lonely experience. I didn't have a lot of friends. I was bullied. I've been called worm, I've been called nugget, you know, get arms fag, you know. Not only did it attack disability, but it attacked sexuality. I was completely knocked down, you know, thinking about suicide. Felt like I had nobody to even try to understand what I was going through. That's probably when my art really took off, though. In those dark moments, it kept my mind busy. I could work on a painting for hours and not have to think about anything else. Today in class, we're doing color wheels, actually. Most people are really shocked when they see me do anything with my feet. When I first started, I kind of surprised people by breaking the ice by saying, hey, I'm Noah, I don't have arms. I, I put it out there real quick because I know it's the elephant in the room and I know that people are wondering where are his arms. I understand why it's shocking, but I can to make them realize that it's okay, you can talk to me. Like, I'm, I'm just like you, I'm not an alien. Like I tell people all the time, it's a lot easier to go home and sit on the couch and wallow, but I'm not gonna do that, because who wants to do that? It's a genius. I think it's pretty incredible how he is able to do this and how he's picked it up. She helped me get things like my board and paper. I think together we make a pretty good team. I think we're a pretty good duo, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then worry about the pole because the pole is so much lighter. 
My professor Kanazawa is really important to me. For him to tell me that my art is meaningful and like he sees the potential in it, like that means so much to me because he's laid his eyes on so many pieces around the world. I uh, think Noah is very dedicated and talent. It's just his unique feature. All this record of who he is. When strangers see me, they kind of feel sympathy. And I say, don't feel sorry for me, I'm doing fine. When my friends are around, they forget that I don't have arms. They see me as everybody else. There's a lot of that goes into your daily life that people don't have to worry about when they have arms. Stuff that I don't have to worry about, but you do, and so you, I don't know, I admire you for being able to handle those things that you have to worry about. I would say that I've definitely come a long way not just in my art, but everything. Uh, when I was little, a lot of people doubted me, but like, it definitely empowered me to wanna make a difference for myself and prove them wrong. I always say that everything happens for a reason. I was born like this for a reason. Like in art, after all the dirty lines and all that, like you, you make this masterpiece. So right now I'm just going through all the dirty lines of life. I'll get to that masterpiece.